I'm Lauren with Pack Hacker, and today we're going to be taking a detailed look at the Tomben Zeitgeist and the Tomben Paradigm and comparing the two. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up so we can keep helping you find the right gear. Let's dive in. So these two packs here are kind of like sisters, siblings. They're similar, but they're different. Obviously, the biggest difference you can tell is just in the design. So over here, we have the Zeitgeist, and over here, we have the Paradigm. And the biggest similarity between the two of them is obviously the size. They're both these kind of like teeny tiny day packs where, you know, it's it's... Uh, great for you know everyday carry, but depending on which one you choose, it's going to be a little bit easier or harder to organize your gear. So I'll get into the details of that. But if you uh, just kind of taking a look at the general profile of the two, this one obviously has a uh, leader independent pocket, whereas this one uh, on the front here is leader dependent. But they do have pretty similar. Um, Pretty similar materials, uh, I'll, I'll get into those in a second, but then there are also, you know, these straps are the same here. They've both got this carry handle and then this back panel is the same. So the back panel here uh, isn't super breathable, so that's something to keep in mind if you live in a warmer climate uh, and you really feel the impacts of the heat. Um, just there is a little bit of foam padding, both on the back panel and the actual straps themselves. It's super comfortable to carry, mostly because it is so small. But something to keep in mind between the two of them here uh, is that lack of breathability. I really started to feel it after a while. And then they both have sternum straps as well. This one here, I took them off, um, but you can see, you know, they're pretty quick and easy to attach here. I'm waiting for that to just autofocus. There it is. And so those go right here, similar to on this pack where they are right here. So this is uh, Wujin hardware, and then all of these zippers on both of these packs here are YKK zippers. So these, uh, this material here, this is the Mars Red Coyote colorway. So obviously this is the Mars Red, and this Coyote here just acts as sort of an accent pop along with this uh, this is what they call like their moon label. Um, it's kind of, you know, referencing like the mid 1990s uh, era label. And then here with the branding is a little bit more just sleek, um, I guess, depending on your style preference, if you like that sort of like vintagey classic look, this is something that's gonna be great. Whereas this is great if you like the size, but you don't wanna make quite as much of a statement. And there are more subtle co colors with this one if you wanted. Um, this one here is the black and then the, uh, the liner on the inside is, oh, not on the inside there. The liner on the inside here is the island colorway and then the liner on the inside here is Northwest Sky. So that is uh, kind of the difference between the two of those. Uh, but looking at the uh, actual materials themselves, this one here is a 525D ballistic nylon. So you can see it does have, you know, that, that structure to it um, and that durability. And then on the other side here, we have the 400D Halcyon Ripstop, which also similarly durable, but just a little bit of a different feel. So I guess I can put them up a little bit closer next to each other. They do have a little bit of a different look to them. Um, these ones here at the time of review don't have uh, any rip stop options or this, these like Halcyon options, um, but this backpack can come in the uh, ballistic nylon. So that's at the time of review. Obviously, uh, colorways may change, um, but you do have a little bit more variety right now with this one here. So starting off with the kind of organization here. I'll look at this one first just because I already have it packed out. So I'll put this one to the side. So again, this is the Paradigm. So this 
pocket here has split organization. And this is really handy since this is a liter independent pocket. It ends up being about 2.7 liters and it you have a fair amount of stuff in here right and this is because this uh, main compartment doesn't really have any additional storage for you so I'll kind of walk you through this um, this center pocket here is really great for a water bottle um, or if you have like a travel size umbrella because it has a drainage hole right in the center and these larger items you're going to want to put in the middle anyway because it'll balance out your carry you want to keep that um, more like center center for center of gravity. It won't make the bag lopsided or anything like that. Uh, but if you do have something wet, or if your water bottle leaks, then uh, it does have a place to get out, which is nice. So taking this out here, uh, this is a 17 ounce, and that's kind of, I would say, you're gonna worry more about height versus width with these. So this, um, this is on the shorter side, and it comes like right over you know, the top of the water bottle. But say for instance, you have a, you know, 20 ounce Hydro Flask here. I think this is actually, yeah, let me look at this one. Yeah, this is the 21 ounce Hydro Flask. That's gonna be a little bit too large. So if that kind of size is your go-to, keep that in mind, just because the more height you add, the less it's gonna fit in this pocket. I would stick more so to a smaller bottle. Uh, but with this pocket empty, you can see the sides a little bit more. There is a left and a right, obviously, that's how that works. But on this side here, it's sort of this like open little pouch, I guess you would say, where I, you know, have sunglasses and a snack and, you know, that kind of stuff over here is great. There's a spot if you want to attach any sort of modular, um, like extra storage or organization. And then on the back here is an additional liner pocket, and that's where I have my wallet. So that's great for like flatter items where this is more for, I, I generally um, advise, you know, a little bit more of uh, the loose stuff, just cause I mean, even if I put sunglasses in there, it's not like it adds a ton of protection, right? So just kind of keeping flatter items and then they don't, uh, push into this main compartment at all, um, just because that's, even though it's leader dependent, you know, that's bound to happen depending on how much you really like stuff it. And then on the other side, it comes with a key strap and then a, another um, back liner pocket. So that's great for like a phone or something like that where it's, it's flat, it's easy to stick in there um, just because this is a little bit more flush to the bag itself. It's kind of hard to, Give you a good visual just because it doesn't it doesn't open all the way right you do have a little bit of extra space here so visibility is not tough if you're like looking in there um, you know it kind of looks like it's hard to see inside from the camera's perspective um, but you know say it's this close to your face right you can pretty much see everything that's in there uh, you know phone and then keys here the key strap itself is pretty long, so this is great if you don't want to detach your keys every time you're trying to unlock a car door or unlock your apartment um, or your house. Uh, so that's really great for that. It is a little bit long, so it just kind of hangs out on the bottom, but it keeps it out of the way anyway. So it wasn't, you know, it's not a huge, huge inconvenience that way. And then again with this center pocket, everything slots in pretty nicely and that organization is built in for you with that kind of accordion shape uh, organization. So uh, there are also two zippers here, so you can position them how you want to for convenience. So if you get to your water bottle more often, just keep it in the center, grab your water bottle out, put it back in, and there you go. Or say, you know, you want to access this pocket with your wallet more often, you can put them over here, unzip it a third of the way, get right to your wallet, and then put it back in. That's a really nice feature just because it is so organized in this pocket, because it is, you know, a fair amount of space. I mean, that's pretty much everything I carry on a day-to-day -day basis, and it fits right within this front here. So it makes it easier so that I don't need to get to all of that stuff right off the bat, or that I can get to that stuff right off the bat versus going into this main compartment. So I'll actually hop into the main compartment here. 
So this, the zippers go about halfway down the bag. So visibility is a little bit tough. You can see this one here, they go, I would say, you know, probably three fourths of the way, two thirds of the way down the bag. So you do have a little bit more visibility to pull it open. But the big benefit with this is that since all of your everyday carry stuff is here, you have more space in this main compartment. So I just had this in here. Um, this is just a thicker zip up. So if you have something a little bit thinner, obviously it's not gonna take up that much space. Um, but the one thing to keep in mind is that if there's stuff that you don't necessarily want to put in this front pocket and you want to put in this main compartment, there's no liner pocket. So this one, uh, which I'll get into in a second, does have one. And that's going to be, um, that's, that would say I would say is the biggest difference just because I have stuff like, I mean, chapstick obviously can go in this front here, but you know, say I have like my mouse and my headphones, I don't necessarily want to put that stuff out here just because, you know, the more you add to this, this pocket, the harder it's going to be to find everything. So this is stuff that I would normally keep separate, but there's nowhere to keep it where it's going to stay really secure. If I just toss these in, they'd just be loose items. So that's where you're going to want to utilize something, you know, like a tech kit where you can slot that in and then you still have, I mean, obviously your water bottles here, but if you wanted to add a second water bottle, you totally could. Or if you have a thinner sweatshirt than I do, you can put that there or you can put the sweatshirt down and then the tech kit there or you can use um, modular organization systems as well so it's just not built in but there are two tabs on the side where if you wanted to add your own you totally could and then that would give you some sort of like a pouch space but you'd have to get that additionally right so that doesn't come with this bag itself and then on the back side here you have a a uh, iPad pocket or a tablet pocket. So this fits uh, up to an 11 inch iPad, um, or you can just stick a notebook in there too. So I usually don't travel or carry an iPad. Um, I stick more so to my laptop, um, which I can show you how that fits in here as well. Uh, but this is great for just really flat items, or if it's completely empty, um, it doesn't really take up too much space uh, with that thickness, but it is you know, a fair amount of padding here. You can kind of see with a little bit of like a fuzzy felt feeling to it for uh, additional like scratch proofing. And that just adds a little bit of extra padding. So that's not, you know, the end of the world that if you don't use it, it's not taking up a ton of space. But if you did want to add a laptop, this is a 13 inch MacBook. It fits just right up to the edges here and that fits similarly in here. So um, I'll get over to that in a second. Uh, but if you do have a laptop and you're not, you know, a huge, it's not a huge issue for you if you don't add like an additional sleeve, then this can still carry that and then, you know, it still has enough space for like your keyboard and things like that and any additional stuff you'd like to add. So I'm going to take a look uh, at these two in comparison in terms of organization. We do have a full review of uh, the Zeitgeist here. So if you want, you know, even more details on that, check that out. But looking here, we have uh, the two front pockets. Uh, obviously, they both have a front pocket. The biggest thing is how everything sits inside. So this here is uh, leader. Um, it is leader dependent in the sense that when you get in here, anything that's bulky is going to start really pushing into here. So say I take all of this stuff, just kind of get a little mental image there of how it sits. I have the water bottle, I have my phone, I have my keys, I have wallet, sunglasses, and a snack, right? So that's a fair amount of stuff that I have in this bag here. I'll swap locations. So say I wanted to put all of that stuff in this pocket, just for the sake of visual here. I'm putting all that in. You kind of got to slot it 
around. Uh, this one does have a key strap as well. It's that same length. So this one, I was actually able to keep the backpack just on one shoulder and unzip this or unzip this this way and then uh, access my keys and get into you know, my apartment or my car or something like that without needing to detach my keys from the uh, strap here. And so that all rests in there, sunglasses. The water bottle, I mean, I, I, the water bottle won't even fit, right? Like, that's a little bit obvious, but um, if you pack that full, you know, it fits in there pretty well, but keeping in mind that nothing is in this main compartment. So if you add that really bulky sweater, already you're pretty much maxed out on space here. So if that's, you know, something where you're carrying a ton of stuff and you want that organization, this is definitely gonna be a better choice for you. But if you carry, you know, smaller, flatter items, then this one is great because it does have a little bit more of a sleek look. You know, it doesn't have that pocket on the outside. It's got kind of a vintage feel to it. But the other thing is that you can take some of the things that are in this front pocket and add them to the inside. So I'll leave my phone in here. Maybe I'll take my wallet out um, and then take out the snacks wherever they went. It's another thing, stuff can get lost in there. And then you go into this main compartment here and there is a liner pocket. So if you remember, this one here does not have one. It does have this modular organization, but so does the Zeitgeist. So you do still have that feature to, let me just take this sucker out. You do still have that feature to add extra and up top as well. This one has one on either side, but does not have one on the, this uh, top seam here. So you do lose a little bit of extra organization in this one. If that's not a huge deal for you, then you know that's totally fine, but um, it just kind of depends on your needs and how and where you like to organize your stuff. So this stuff that we took out here, you can put in this liner pocket. And this liner pocket is fairly large. It goes, you know, you can kind of see the seam there. It's about half the size of this main compartment, I'd say. So you can do that stuff in here. Obviously, it depends on which ones you want to put in which areas. Um, so it's kind of up to your preference. But that's another thing where these, it's a natural built-in pocket for the stuff I really didn't have a spot for earlier. So then between these two, you can keep pretty much all of your gear versus here where everything small really has to go here unless you add that modularity. And then this back panel is the same. So kind of that same fit. Show you how it fits with the laptop. If it's similarly right up against the edges there. So kind of the same thing. If you add extra uh, security here, it's gonna like get a little bit too bulky just for these corners. Um, but if you're cool just leaving it in there, then you know that's totally fine and it works out and it does fit. Um, the other thing to note kind of in terms of design here, just gonna stick this stuff inside. The other thing to note in terms of design is that while this one has a center area for a water bottle, this one does not. So like I showed you before, this front pocket's not really a huge option. However, you can definitely stick it on the inside here. And it fits, right? Like it's, you have, it's not like it's bulking out here, but again, if you add my big old honking thing here, you're gonna start to run out on space pretty quickly. So I would say the biggest benefit of this one here is that 
uh, organization, this kind of accordion organization on the outside, just because it does keep everything separate. I found myself kind of running into an issue where I would pack like one or two things in here and then I was like, oh shoot, like I'm kind of running out of space. So that's something to keep in mind. And then in terms of just a general zipper design as well. Zip these up. These ones here are exposed and they only go about halfway down, which, you know, as we saw before, you have a little bit of limitation in terms of opening. Whereas this one here, um, it has a little bit of a fabric belt to it. You can still unzip without moving the fabric belt. You know, that's no problem. It is a little bit, you know, more cornered around the edges, so it'll stick a little bit more. Whereas this one has a, has a decently round shape to it. I mean, it is still a little bit square similarly, but I found that, you know, without this extra material, this one's a little bit easier to zip and unzip. Um, so how I got into this one mostly was just flipping this out of the way, unzipping, and then opening up. And, you know, we have a little bit of extra space there. So I can show you, oh, it sits up nicely. I mean, you, it's a fair amount of a difference between visibility here. And this comes in handy mostly because um, I needed to really organize how things were going in there since I, I was kind of struggling to uh, get things that were a little bit chunky inside. Like, you know, if I wanted to add some sort of like a tech kit, then I am limited on space on this side here. So I needed that extra room to be able to see. Whereas this one here, just because you do have this extra uh, space on the outside, you know, you can slot things in a little bit easier without needing to like really super organize it. So, you know, I do kind of see the logic there though it might have been a little bit nicer to have a little extra space just in case you need it, just because, you know, everybody's mileage varies depending on what works best for them. So there you have it, the Tom Bin Zeitgeist and the Tom Bin Paradigm. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel, and we'll see you in the next video.